guys, it's Kate from Teach Your Kids Code. So today we are going to be showing you how to use your 3D printer and we are gonna be designing our own custom name tag. I'm gonna take you through all the steps that are needed to 3D print, which is the design phase, the um, slicing phase, and then the printing phase. And I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom name tag with your own name on the design. The links, the relevant links to the designs are in the description. We're going to get started today. I'm going to be using my Alagoo Neptune 3 Pro printer, which is a printer I purchased myself. This is not sponsored, um, but I really do love this printer. It is uh, an excellent starter 3D printer, great price, easy to use. So if you haven't yet bought a 3D printer, it's definitely one to keep in mind. Um, but you're going to have to adjust if you have a different 3D printer because the directions might be slightly different depending on the 3D printer. I'm not an expert at 3D printers. I've been 3D printing for about a year. I do have a few 3D printers here in my collection. So I certainly have learned some of the ins and outs of how to get started with a 3D printer. And I'm going to take you through that today. Let's get started with the first part of 3D printing, which is the design phase of the 3D printing. So for the design phase, you have two options. One is that you can use a design software like Tinkercad to design your own 3D print, or you can go online and search in databases where other people have uploaded their 3D print designs and have allowed you to use them, and you can download a design. So that's obviously the easier way to get started rather than learning to design your own prints, but I'm just going to briefly cover both here. So this website, Thingiverse, is a very popular website that you can go to and look for 3D design. So I just pulled up one of my favorite designs, which is this Kobayashi fidget cube. And so my kids have gotten me to print so many of these. They love them. They bring them to school. Everybody wants one. And so what you would simply do is you would go and you would download this STL file from Thingiverse. It's free and you would be able to um, print this design. Another popular website for finding 3D print designs is Printables. So this uh, website has some really cool designs. I chose this portable cable organizer or winder. Uh, I printed off a bunch of these when I first got my 3D printer and it was super great for organizing that uh, drawer of cables that everyone has um, and I got them all organized and it felt really good. So again, you would go in to this website and you would download one of these STL files. So they have a few different options here for small, medium, or large. And uh, then you would be able to print this on your printer. There is one step in between, which is the slicing step, which we'll get to. But essentially what you're looking for for this first design part is an STL file. The last thing that you can do is you can actually design your own uh, 3D printed design. So in this case, I have a name tag that you can customize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the link for this template uh, into the YouTube description. So go to the YouTube description, you'll see the link for this Tinkercad template so that you can design and customize your own name tag uh, to your liking. So I'm going to do a whole tutorial on how to use Tinkercad and how I came up with and made this design. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you how to change the text to a different name. Um, so we're just going to go for the easiest possible uh, design at this point. So what you're going to do is you will click on the link from the YouTube description. It will open up Tinkercad. You may need to sign in um, and create a profile with Tinkercad. And then this will open up. And you're simply going to click on the text here. Make sure you click on the text so you'll see it says text here. If you accidentally click on the shape, then you'll just see shape here. So you want to make sure that you're actually clicking onto the text. And so then you will change the text to your name. If you happen to have a long name, then you may need to um, change the size of the uh, text 
or perhaps get rid of this shape here so you can just simply click it and then press your delete button to get rid of it but you can also actually change the size of your text by dragging and dropping here you just want to make sure that you're not changing the height or um, causing the design to be changed um, so you can actually use this box over here just to make sure that you're still keeping your text just slightly off the design so that it's going to come out great when it prints so i've changed the text to my name and now i'm going to cl click export to download and 3d print and i am going to print it as an or i'm going to download it as an stl uh, file and then we're going to use that STL file for the next step in 3D printing which is slicing. So now we've got the design we either downloaded something from one of the online uh, databases or we designed something ourselves in Tinkercad in this place in this case we've made this name tag and so now what we're going to do is get to the second phase of 3D printing which is slicing. Let's move on to the slicing phase of 3D printing. So we've created our STL file. We either downloaded a desi design that we liked online or we created our own. In this case, we created our name tag. But now we actually need to make that file readable by the 3D printer. We need to slice this design so that our 3D printer can print it layer by layer. That's exactly what a 3D printer does. And so that's what a slicing software does is it allows the 3D printer to be given directions on how to print your design layer by layer. So I am using the Cura slicing software. Cura is one of the most popular slicing softwares. It's a free slicing software. I'm using specifically the Elegoo Cura because I have an Elegoo 3D printer. Um, you can use any slicing software. Your 3D printer may have a specific software that it recommends. You should definitely check the instructions with your 3D that come with your 3D printer to figure out which is the best 3D print um, slicing software for your particular 3D printer. So this is Hura, and I'm going to be using my Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro for printing this design. So what I do is I just go and open the file, and then I have my name tag template that I downloaded earlier. So I will open that up, and I can see my design right here on the um, bed plate and I can just look at it from a few different angles if I want and just see that it's all looking good. It's nice and flat to uh, the bed plate. At some point you are going to need to get to know all of these settings up here. For now I'm just going to go with the very basics. So I'm going to be printing with PLA. So I'm going to um, just click Material PLA. There's a whole bunch of options here, but I'm going to go with PLA, which is what I'm using. And then I will also just keep with the normal settings here. So whatever is standard with the Elegoo print profile, I am keeping. I'm not making any adjustments to like the speed of the print or um, the infill or anything like that. The one thing that you might want to consider adjusting depending on the design that you've chosen to print is whether you're going to add some build plate adhesion. So that means either a skirt, a brim, a raft, or none. Build plate adhesion can help if you are having trouble with your print um, sticking to your printer. There are certain intricate designs that don't have great adhesion to the bed and need something like a raft which is just a layer of 3d printed um, filament that allows your design to stick easier and more um, consistently to the print bed and allows your design to print nicer in this case this is a flat essentially rectangle object it already is basically a raft in itself, so I don't think it needs any particular build plate adhesion, so I don't have that set for this one. But that's the only thing that you might want to know even as a beginner is about those different types of build plate adhesion. So what I'll do is I will just press slice here, and it's going to slice my design, 
and then I am going to save this file and I am going to save it to an external hard drive so that I can take that file and put it into my 3D printer. But depending on whether your 3D printer uses wireless connection or whether they have a USB port or what type of connection your 3D printer has, you may need to save it to disk or save it to a removable hard drive or a micro SD card. So I'll save that and now we're going to move on to the final step of 3D printing, which is to actually print our design. So this is the last and best part of 3D printing, which is actually printing your item with your 3D printer. So I am using here the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. This is one of my favorite printers. I will link to my full review. Really love this printer. It's great for beginners and really affordably priced. I've already got my filament loaded up. So you're gonna need to refer to the instruction manual for your printer to make sure that you have it assembled correctly and to make sure that you've got the basics of loading your filament and leveling your print bed. Those are two of the most important uh, parts of getting started with your 3D printer, especially the leveling part. If you don't have your printer properly leveled, then either you're going to print out a gooey mess or it's going to be way too thin and you're not going to get a great quality print. Then I'm going to take my micro SD card, which I had saved the file, that name tag file, and I'm going to insert it into my printer. This printer has a micro SD slot. Some might have a USB. Some might do it over Wi-Fi, but mine has the micro SD. And then this Neptune has this uh, touch screen. So I'm going to go to print and there we go. I'm going to see right there. My name tag template is there. So I'm going to press that button and I'm going to confirm that I want to print this model. And then it's gonna get started for me. It's really important to actually watch your print, especially the first layer, but I really recommend that you're constantly checking in on your print. Uh, here is a tale to warn you. This is previously the print head for this printer. I left a print overnight and that's all black filament that just started coming out. My print, the, the print adhesion on the bed didn't work so it slipped off and so all of a sudden it was just printing out this filament but it wasn't going anywhere and it just piled up and it just completely destroyed this print head. <laughs> Thankfully the Elegoo customer support is amazing and they sent me a new one through their Amazon chat function so I'm really happy with that but yes you do need to watch your print and actually make sure that that first layer is sticking well to your bed, that you don't have any immediate errors, and then keep checking on your print because otherwise you can end up with a filament mess like this, which can be a huge problem. So right now it hasn't started. My printer isn't doing anything because it's actually heating up. So in order to get a good 3D print, you need to have obviously uh, you need to melt this plastic, but you also want your bed to be heated and uh, and your nozzle. So as you can see here, it's currently heating up the bed. It's gonna go to 60 degrees and then it will heat up the nozzle after that and then it will get going. So let's show you a cool time-lapse of this print and then we'll show you the final product. All right, so here is our final design printed onto our printer bed. I can already tell that it looks great. So now I have to remove it from the bed. So I have a flexible print bed here. So I'm just going to take this off. If you have a glass bed, you're going to need to um, scrape your design off. I much prefer these flexible print beds. So much easier to use because all you got to do is go and you can just hear that nice sound. And so I have been putting a little bit of um, glue, um, just like glue stick onto the print bed um, every so often, every probably 10, 20 prints. And that just allows it to really stick nicely to the bed. So I'll remove this now. And here is our design. So I am super happy with how it turned out. It's got uh, my name, the little shape, and then this clip here, which I can use to attach this. So this would be great for attaching to my lunch bag or a backpack 
or anything else. Um, it's great for kids to be able to label things that uh, they have and are bringing to school. Absolutely love how it turned out. Hope you enjoy making yours. Please write me in the comments if you have any questions about how to use your 3D printer and I'll try to help you out.